came last year, and it's just kind of a fun time. It's not it's not a real serious climbing competition, but the events are all fun. And I just knew a lot of people, I guess. So I got to the second to last one. Um, I stuck it on my fourth try, so it didn't actually count. I didn't get to move on to the final. But, um, that's always one of my favorite events. And it's just, I, I guess that was another reason they brought me out. I knew they'd be that well. Yeah, I did most of those events, too, and I helped out a little bit. I've, I did the uh, outdoor pursuits literature program, and so like I know a lot of the people who work here, so I kind of helped record and did all that stuff as well as participating in it. I love climbing; it's a good opportunity to have some fun. A lot of people are interested. So, uh, I count? I'd say nine pole. Oh, kind of just have to grope around. Hopefully, you uh, you get a hold. So we get a bunch of the rock, it's all rock wall staff, and we, uh, we come in, we take off a bunch of holds and just set up uh, several different vents, like blindfolded climbing, uh, one arm climbing, or yeah, one arm climbing, speed climbing, three legged climbing. Uh, then we have a dyno competition, which is where you're jumping from two holds, one or two holds to another gigantic hold, uh, and real big moves. And then we set up a kind of ninja warrior like. Uh, obstacle course, kind of like we have here. So I came out for the community, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's all, I think it makes people feel a lot better about climbing. It's comfortable, you know, like you can look silly when you're climbing, and it's awesome. So, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. It's a great community where people get involved in. It's really supportive. The blindfold, it's pretty awesome. It's, a, it's hilarious to watch people do it. Yeah, we'll see how the one arm race goes. Probably gonna beat that for sure. Uh, yeah. Blindfold is really challenging. It's weird to climb without that scantily sight.